Mr. Mayor, our property taxes, our, since our budget is going to go up, our property taxes will be going up for next year. Correct right? on that? You are correct, Mr. Mayor. And how much percentage more do you think it's going to go up? The 2% cap? Is it going to hit the 2% cap? The revenue is going up 3.5 million percent. Okay, so that's going to affect our property taxes going higher. It seems like we go through this every year and it seems to be non-stop. Um, I notice a lot of homes are going up for sale in this town and in fact one of my neighbors is moving. He had an office done. And I always say this, you guys got to cap and control and reduce the bullets that you're spending. I know we just had a bunch of um, wage increases for public employees, even to the guys who work across the street. And I just want to make sure when this budget is finally decided on, all five of you have to unanimously approve this budget in order for it to pass. Am I correct? Is that a yes? No. It has to be approved by the majority of the board. So it could be two to three, correct? Or it has to be five, who are for it unanimously? Mr. General Tempo. No, it does not have to be unanimous. So now, you need four votes. Two of them are four votes. Two of them are four votes. Okay, well the reason why I'm asking, I noticed we have a gentleman on this panel right who's running for governor. And I would strongly suggest, if you want the good people of the state to vote for you, it won't look good on your record if you vote for a budget that will raise the good people that you help govern their property taxes again. So, try to convince these gentlemen here to do their part to lower our property taxes because it's truly getting out of hand. Mr. Mayor, may I? Uh, yeah, please do. Absolutely. I'm going to share something with you. I've been around the state and all over the state, and I have not met a more dedicated, committed group of governing officials than I've had here at the county level. These people up here work their tails off night and day on the weekends. They miss their kids' events. They miss their family affairs. To do what? To do the best they could to make sure that the quality of life in this community is measured up far beyond anyone else in this state. And let me add a couple of things. Number one, have you read the New York Times lately? Yes, I have. Now I'm speaking now, okay? Yes. The fact of the matter is, is that this town, this township has been very stable with regard to taxes over many, many years. And that's because of the hard work of the individuals up here, including their staffs. So when we talk about me or any one of these individuals uh, purposely or having some idea that we just like to raise taxes on people, that's wrong. That's another point I want to bring up. We had a very serious fire the other day. All right? So where did, what happened during that fire? The fire department got there. The police got there. Our emergency services got there. These people work very, very hard for the money they earn. And that's a quality of life service we don't want to see cut and go away ever in this town. You got a gentleman here with the parks department. He's kept kids out of trouble for years. Why? Because he has expanded programs without the taxes going up that We got a public works department that you don't, at times you don't even believe a storm came through this town. That's how, uh, that, that's a measure of the work they're doing. I can't say enough about the police and fire. You've got a, a finance commissioner who's pretty brilliant at what he does. And I've seen that guy in action, and he's crunching the numbers. My point is this, you come up here week after week after week, and you have the audacity, all right? You have the audacity to, to, to bring my gubernatorial race into this picture, to try to convince them to do what? They're the most honest individuals I've met in, in, in government and in politics, and I'm proud to say that, and I will always say that. So I would like you to leave one, my gubernatorial race, out of this. This is not the time or place to discuss that. I don't have to visit, uh, convince them to do anything, And as for that wonderful article in the New York Times, talk about generations that lived here before. Just imagine those generations can see what happened to our town and not me. 
with all these brand new apartments going up that you got the yeah, fine gentleman and the zoning board and the planning board allowed to keep coming up and getting more apartments coming into this town. It's been 44, 45 months past uh, for six weeks have been approved. If those generations can see what's happening to Nutley, I don't think they would like the way it's being led. Because what has happened to the generations that lived here for years, they're moving out. And it seems like from reading that article, it seems like this board cares more about the new people moving in than the people that actually lived in this town for so many years. So, and the reason why they're moving out is because this board keeps raising their property taxes. Maybe you guys can afford it, but not everyone in this town makes $130,000, $140,000, $180,000. A couple of people in this town do. You know, some of us make $60,000, maybe fifty-five, And you keep crunching us and you keep forcing us to make these hard decisions after 20 to 25 years of paying off our home time to leave. We're getting taxed out. Is that what we're working for living in this town? You make this feel like we're the river. We're not the river. We're the people that make this town great. And we carry the burdens of this town on our backs. Not your backs. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Attorney. Anybody else like to be heard on the budget? I'd like to hear it there. Mike, you, you make some good points from time to time, and sometimes I agree with you, and sometimes I don't agree with you. Uh, there's a couple of clarifications that need to be made. Number one, this board does not approve apartment buildings or anything like that. That's planning board and zoning board. They're quasi judicial boards, all right, and they act based upon Number two, you talk about us raising taxes, all right? Did you forget that Hoffman and Roach moved out? Did you forget that we lost a $10 million rating? Did you forget that this board, as a unit, let me finish it up, listen to you, as a unit, lobbying the state, with Commissioner Evans taking the lead, we got $5.5 million in transitional aid light, as we refer to it, and that that aid is, in fact, probably going to be cut this year somewhere to the tune of $600,000. Did you forget that we also pay property taxes? I myself pay close to $25,000 a year, all right? And there's a reason for that, because in this life, we have choices. We're here working for everyone, the people that make 180000 and the people that make fifty and 60000 We've all been in different spots at different times, all right? So to come to the mic and represent all right, to the people at home, the people that are here, that we just act cavalierly and raise the taxes every year because we have nothing better to do. It's just wrong. Okay. okay. And I can appreciate what you're going through. I can appreciate what you're saying because we all have children and family members who are in similar situations. All right. But it's not because of a lack of interest or a lack of want. All right. If we can keep your taxes stable and even reduce them, which is near impossible in this day and age, based upon what's going on and real estate values being devalued, of course we would do that. All right. So to stand here and represent to anyone that there's anyone that's sitting up here who takes enjoyment out of raising anyone tax one penny, just won't work. It's a misrepresentation, and you're better than that. You shouldn't do that. Okay. Thank you. But I do want to say one thing. Um, as for the zoning, the zoning planning board, yes. why didn't you the person who puts those people on those boards are the mayors? We have traveled before, and I don't know if anyone I don't remember. But you know, those people on those zoning and planning boards, why didn't they're realtors or financiers? Maybe they kind of benefit from the actions that they do that allow these more apartments to be built and eventually put more kids in our school. Like that again. Yeah. That, that, that would be wrong if that was to happen. If anyone was to blame them, was to benefit based upon a vote that they made. That is absolutely wrong, all right? And perhaps if you have a meeting, you should have a conversation with Mr. Jenny Temple, who can enlighten you on what, how quasi-judicial boards of government and what their responsibilities are. Because what you're, what you're mentioning would be totally wrong, and I believe it would be. And the last thing you mentioned about Hoffman Roche, I said this once before on this, on this mic, I said, if, if you gentlemen would have led over the course of the past, I know, I know the different, you know, sometimes you guys change seats, you're voted in, and one's mayor, and one's something else, and, you know, mm -hmm. from the history. But if you guys would have led the town, 
in a better, more financial way, more conservatively, maybe I, I would think a Hoffman Rose leaving wouldn't really affect us then. If you were cap controlling the cost of running this town a lot better, maybe, like I said, a Hoffman Rose wouldn't affect us. My dude, again, I can't speak for anyone else. I can speak of my budget, all right? And in my budget, in the different categories, all right? As a, as a general rule, every year I return to the township treasury about $400,000, all right? So if my, if my budget goes up a percent or two, by the time I'm done at the end of the year spending only what absolutely needs to be spent, my budget is virtually flat every year. And I think for the most part, the rest of the members here can say the same thing. If we have a particular public safety issue or a particular public work or water or public affairs or finance issue that we need to adjust, then we need to put the dollars there because talk is cheap, all right? You set policy in this world by where you put your dollars, all right, and how you spend them. And we only spend them when it's absolutely necessary and not a dollar more. So as far as planning for Hopkins Rose, Hopkins Rose is about, was about 10% of our tax base, all right? Hopkins Rose, the year before they closed up, represented to the board at the time that they were here forever when they put the skywalk in. If you remember, you're a guy that follows things, all right? And then what happened? Then we found out through other channels that they were leaving. It was a corporate decision, all right? That was way beyond our control. It wasn't about the end of the board or any other commissioner. It wasn't that Hoffman Roach and Pharmaceutical only in Nottingham left. Pharmaceutical left the United States for the most part, and especially our areas. Sorry. So, as far as being conservative and spending very carefully, that is in fact what we do. That's why we're in the shape that way, as opposed to other places, all right, that are not as stable as nothing. And despite everything that's going on, some things within our control, some things beyond our control, Nothing still is a desirable place to be. All right, and people are still flocking here and read the New York Times article. I think we have a different time. It wasn't written by anyone here. Plus, it was written by Marino, written, written by outsiders, all right, who are just aware of the quality of life here and the type of town that we have and how it's run and how, for generations, it's been run by good, honorable people who do nothing but the right thing in this town and are about public service, right? So, please. Don't misrepresent, all right, and make accusations that are false, all right? It's beneath you. You make some good points. We do, in fact, take into consideration what you're saying. We think about how we can do things better, but to just blatantly paint everyone with the same brush is wrong. Well, let the good people in this town decide. Thank you again, Mr. Doctor. Anybody else like to be heard on the budget? Seeing none. Motion to close the public hearing. Move it.